We've said that the cloud makes it possible to provide companies with computing resources as a service. But what exactly do we mean by computing resources? To run any given application, a software product for end users, literally hundreds of underlying critical technologies are required, a mix of hardware components and other software. Together, these technologies are often described as the computing stack. Whether you're using a cloud solution or a traditional one, there is a computing stack at work. While you might hear the term cloud stack, cloud is primarily a function of how the stack is used. Though, in practice, stacks designed for cloud use do differ from other computing stacks. So, what's in the stack? Let's look at a simplified version, focusing on a few critical elements. At the bottom of the stack are the underlying physical hardware resources. Primarily, these include data storage devices, compute servers, and networking devices. Data storage devices are basically larger, fancier versions of a hard drive. Servers, or compute servers, are what carry out computing processes. The higher the server capacity, the greater the processing power. And networking devices are what create connectivity to other systems and devices via the internet. Together, these bottom-of-the-stack resources are commonly called the infrastructure layer. They provide the foundation. The infrastructure is roughly what people mean when they say data centers. Typically, data storage space and server capacity are the resources flexed up and down by cloud users, depending on their needs. At the very top of the stack is the application layer. This is the layer that end users interact with. For example, when using a social media app, Microsoft Word or Google Docs, we are engaging with the application layer directly. Of course, somewhere beneath this, the infrastructure layer is working hard to store and process information. There's also a middle layer of software that provides some connective tissue between the infrastructure and the application. A key part of this tissue is software designed to simplify and enhance the application development process. In the context of cloud computing, this is often called the platform. Basically, the platform houses code used to create and manage other code. These are called development tools or developer services. Platform layer development tools are like building blocks that can be used to create new applications. Rather than reinventing the wheel every time, developers can make use of these pre-existing blocks. There are a number of toolkits that provide these types of building blocks. For example, the well-known open source framework, Django. Say a developer is building an e-commerce website. Certain basic functionality, like the ability to add items to a cart, or even log in and log out, might be pre-encoded and available to the developer via Django libraries. A well-known proprietary platform solution is Heroku, offered by Salesforce. Need to connect your custom chatbot to Slack? Or need a leaderboard feature for the game you're developing? Heroku has a tool for that. To build and run any application, a company will need to secure a mix of resources up and down this stack. And the company will have multiple options for this at each layer. Hint, one option is to use cloud-based solutions. In the next chapters, we will take a look at the various cloud solutions and what resources up and down the stack they can provide.